Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and today's video is going to be a day in the life of a stay-at-home dog mom. If you didn't know, I am a Golden Doodle breeder, YouTuber, and an owner of six dogs. I thought it would be fun to take you guys along for a typical day in my life when we don't have puppies on the ground and see what it looks like owning six dogs. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and let's get into today's video. The first thing I do when I wake up is head to my bathroom. I like to take care of a few things for myself before taking care of the dogs. Normally, I'll brush my hair, wash my face, and brush my teeth to get my day started. Once I've taken care of my basic needs, I go ahead and put on my robe and head out to the dog room and my time alone for the day has clearly ended as you will see the rest of this video. For those of you who are new here and may not know, we did end up converting our garage to a dog room. So the dogs have their very own room that they sleep in every single night and it is heated and air controlled and they have their own TV where we play music. So trust me, they live the good life. So here they are, as you can see, super duper eager to greet me in the mornings. They're always so excited to get out, stretch their legs and tell me good morning. Once I go ahead and let everyone out, they're getting super excited and anxious. As you can see, Harlow jumping. They're so excited to come out for the day. Indy and Jagger don't have to go up because I can trust them, but the poodles like to chew things. Harlow's still a puppy and will chew things. And clearly, as you can see, they're super excited to get their day started. Specifically Willow that morning, she would not leave me alone. So we go ahead and head up the hallway and I let all the dogs out at once. So instead of doing like one at a time, two at a time, just depends if it is raining, we will do like three dogs at once so it doesn't get too crazy. But normally I just let them all out. They bombard out the door, head to the trees for the squirrels and I normally have to end up calling them back. And as you see, they most of the time listen, but in the morning their zoomies are literally out of control. So we go outside, let them use the bathroom and get all that energy out that they've got pent up from being up all night. There's something so just beautiful and refreshing about the morning time with the dogs. It's just so nice to get outside, get some fresh air, give some scratches and just really start our day off with a good start. So a question I get very often with owning six dogs is how in the world I keep my house clean and this right here is it. Even in the mornings after you know with the morning dew or when it rains or it's super muddy, I wipe off every single paw of the dogs before they are allowed back in the house and even though it can be a headache, it definitely helps keep my house clean and I find it super duper worth it. Once we are all in, I give more scratches as you can see and then go ahead and get the dog's water bowl filled up for the morning time. Once they've come in from outside, they're normally pretty parched because they've been running around and playing. So I like to just go ahead, fill up our community dog bowl that we always leave in the kitchen and let the dogs get some water. Jagger is normally the first one at the water bowl and then the other dogs continue to play because clearly all that running they do in the morning just isn't enough for these three. Once the dogs have been taken out and tended to, I go ahead and get myself ready for the day. So from this to this, not much different. I really don't normally wear a lot of makeup 
on the days where I'm just hanging out with the dogs, even if I do have errands to run, I really like to keep my face clean and makeup free. And then as you see, once I got done with that, I headed out to feed the dogs. So the dogs don't get a super duper fancy breakfast. They just get dog food for breakfast and normally they don't get that much, just enough to give them to nibble on. Their main like meal and nutrients come from dinner time around here. So how I'll do it in the morning is I'll give Willow and Ivy their food in two separate bowls in their pen. I'll make Harlow a bowl and put it with her in her pen. I'll give Indy and Jagger one bowl to share. They're very good at sharing and regulating their food. And since this isn't their main, I guess, meal for the day, um, I do do that one in separate bowls. But for this one, I just put it all together. And then Ellie is still on puppy food. So she gets her own bowl in her pen as well. If you're new here and don't know, our dogs are on Purina Pro Plan. So Ellie is on Purina Pro, Pro Plan, large breed puppy beef and rice. And then our adult dogs are on the Purina Pro Plan Complete Essentials with Probiotics Beef and Rice, I believe. And then I also keep all of our dog food in these airtight containers from Tractor Supply. They're really great. They're made to be used like outdoors so moisture and stuff cannot get in. And even though our dog food is kept indoors, I like to keep it as fresh as possible. And I find that these work really well at doing that. Once I had fed all the dogs, I actually left them up in their room because I was heading out for the day. So here you can see Jagger eating and Indy's just gonna wait her turn. But I went ahead and headed inside and did a little pickup for the dog's toys. They like to like take all their toys out of the toy basket, spread them all over the house, and then just play with each one for like five seconds. So I was putting some toys back in the toy box and then I went ahead and ran my robot vacuum. This is another great way that I keep my house clean. It's always super convenient just to run when I go out. On this morning in particular, I had to actually head out and meet one of my guardian families to pick up something for our vet. So I just headed into town and met her at a nearby Walmart to pick up a urine sample actually from her dog. So Briggs is the guardian home dog in question and I had to drop off a urine sample for them at the vet to actually test for any sperm to see if he's hitting maturity. So here he is, super cute and his amazing guardian home mom, Anna. So I just gave him some loves, picked up what I needed and then since I was already in town for the day, I decided to head over to Bojangles and get me some breakfast. And one of those treat yourself kind of moments, it was Friday and I was just kind of feeling like it. If you guys have Bojangles near you, comment down below what you get. I honestly just get a large sweet tea and a large fry with extra seasoning. You have to ask for extra seasoning or it's not as good. And then I went ahead and headed on home. And instead of letting the dogs out as soon as I got home, I decided to eat my breakfast in peace because I really wasn't in the mood to share my fries. And then also normally when I eat breakfast or lunch, I like to enjoy some YouTube. Once I finished my breakfast, I headed on out to the dog room to let the dogs in the house. I was only gone for about 30 minutes, so I just went ahead and let them in the house. As you can see, they're always super, super thrilled to come in, and then I just went ahead and let them play and just hang out in the house for a little bit while I went ahead and sat down and got some computer work done. And then once I had worked on my computer for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, went ahead Called it quits for a second and grabbed the dog's balls. They're obsessed with ball. Let me tell you, that is my dog's favorite thing to do. So I went ahead, grabbed the balls, and we headed outside for a, another play session. It is always too funny to watch the dogs scramble for the ball. So I normally only bring out two balls for all six dogs because trying to keep up with 
like six balls would be insane. And they truly love fetching ball. That is one of their favorite things to do, especially the poodles and Jagger. They are like ball obsessed. So normally we get out multiple times a day to throw ball or even take a walk. It's just really good for us all to get some fresh air and stretch our legs and truly get in exercise. I find that with having six dogs, properly exercising them is not only good for them, but also good for me because it allows me to get work done while they sleep. And as you can see, here's Harlow. I told you, if she gets a ball, she sneaks away with it and she's gone. Once our play session was over, I headed back in and it was time for me to actually go out again. So I brought all the dogs into the dog room to go ahead and put them up. So the dogs do not stay in the house when we're gone, they stay in their room. And honestly, it's good for not only their safety, but also the safety of my things. <laughs> These are the treats that we use as well. It's the Box Bakery. They have really good treat flavors. They're very limited ingredients and you can find them at TJ Maxx too, which is always super awesome. On this occasion, I was attempting to put Harlow in her pen, but the poodles were so ready for their treat that they kept trying to go into her pen, so I had to put them up first. So I went ahead and opened their pen door, gave Harlow her treat and shut her up, and then I ended up shutting up Willow as well. Ivy was actually going with me on this like day trip that I was taking, and also like to make sure the dogs have all the water that they need. Before I leave, we don't have water. like like a faucet or anything in the dog room. That's like the only downfall to the dog room. So we always keep water in this milk jug. So I noticed Harlow was low. So I went ahead and filled her water up and then went ahead and gave Ivy and Indy and Jagger their treat. Even though Ivy was going with me, I didn't want her to feel left out. Ivy and I went ahead and said bye to everyone and headed to get into the car to load up for our adventure. Ivy was super excited to be going somewhere with me one-on-one, -on -one, so I do try to take the dogs out individually every now and then. It doesn't always happen as often as I would like it to with six dogs. It's really hard, and honestly, we stay home a lot of the days, but today's turn was Ivy's, and she was super excited, and so was I. It was such a fun outing, and like you can see, she's super excited. She just hopped right in the car and was super ready to go. So we had a little bit of a drive before we got to my friend's house, but once we got to my friend's house, I got to see her and her little one-year-old, and then we also took a walk in her neighborhood, and it was so much fun. It was such a nice day, and Ivy did a really incredible job. I was so proud of her. After about two hours, Ivy and I headed back home. It was such a fun outing, and I really enjoyed my individual time with Ivy for the day, but that had come to an end, and it was now time to get the dogs back out of their dog room. Once again, the typical greeting, super excited to see me and super excited to get back out and enjoy the rest of the day. Once again, we headed back out to play more fetch. I know I've said it before, but exercising these dogs and getting outside with them is so important and it's actually really good not only for them but for me my mental health going on walks with them which is actually what we did during this outing so instead of just throwing ball the whole time they did bring the balls with them as you see ellie has one in her mouth but we took more of a pack walk instead of just me standing there and throwing the ball so we explored let the dogs use their noses and get their energy out and it was just such a fun and nice way to to not only do something good for my health, but also for the dogs as well. After our pack walk, I headed back in and ate some lunch. So I had just leftovers from the night before and here I am watching YouTube again. And while I watched YouTube, the dogs took a nap. As you can see, this is why I exercise them very frequently because they all take really good naps and it allows me to get the work done that I really need to get done for the day without their interruption. It 
It was now a little bit later in the afternoon and I wanted to go ahead and get my grooming for the week out of the way before Matt got home for the weekend. So here I am using the Good Pup Kit. It is now actually called Pupwell. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get a free apron with your order with my code hey dudes so I just go ahead and brush my dogs probably once a week since my dogs have shorter coats because I keep them that way I don't have to brush them near as frequently as someone would if they had a dog with a longer coat also if you have multiple dogs or even just a doodle in general getting a grooming table even if you're not even gonna fully groom them this has been a life changer it is so much easier on my back it's so much more easier to groom them and to brush them and it's truly been a lifesaver. So first up was Ellie. So I went ahead and brushed her thoroughly and then not only that, but I also trimmed up Ellie's face and her um, toenails because they had gotten really long. I really need to give her a full groom, but that's probably going to be like a next week kind of thing because I was not in the mood to get out my clippers and give her a full groom. As you can see, Ellie cooperates really well for her grooming and her nail trims and things like that. If you're getting a doodle puppy soon, start them early, you know, start grooming them the day you get them. I promise you it'll be well worth it in the end. Ellie does so good and she's only nine months old. So once I was done with Ellie, I moved on to Harlow and then from Harlow to Indy, Indy to Jagger and then finished up with Willow and Ivy. Once I had finished brushing everyone out and trimming up Ellie's hair, I went ahead and just vacuumed up my station to keep it as clean and neat as possible. Not long after that, Dog Dad had actually made his way home from work. So if you're new here, my husband is a high school teacher and football coach. So he gets off at a pretty good time every day. So it's really nice. We get to spend a lot of time with him. So we were outside for our like, what, fifth? maybe so like play session of the day so we went around threw some frisbee threw some ball and got the dogs energy out again because let me tell you six dogs six large breed dogs have a lot of energy and need a lot of play time after that play session the dogs once again were passed out and laid down for a little bit of a nap while i sat back down and got even more computer work done I love when they nap. It's the best time for me to get work done. Then eventually it was dinner time. So I start out with the dog's kibble. I add a farm fresh egg from our chicken coop and then the Purina Pro Plan Complete Essentials beef and rice and wet dog food, some warm water to soften up and rehydrate their food. And then I give it all a really good stir. I know this looks disgusting, but the dogs truly love it and enjoy it. And then I normally finish it out with some salmon oil I'm really upset with Chewy they actually like left out the pump so I've been having to pour it and it's not efficient and then we bring the dogs into their dog room and everyone eats in their pen or Indian Jagger in the room so it's very important to make sure all the dogs are in their specific areas for dinner time it's always nice when dog dad is home and can help me with maintaining all of the dogs. Don't get me wrong, I love being a stay-at-home dog mom. I love spending all day with my dogs, but it's really nice to have some help and not feel like I'm doing it all alone when I get home. So shout out to Matt, the super dog dad. He's amazing and I definitely could not do any of this without him. Once everyone was fed and content, Matt and I actually headed over to my mom's house on this particular night for dinner. So she was going out of town on a mission trip and we wanted to have a dinner together before she left. So this is her beautiful kitchen and we got some barbecue. It was super yummy and absolutely delicious and I love not having to cook some nights. Once we got home, Matt let all the dogs out and he thought it would be funny if I sat at the end and like let them all rush at the camera. As you can see, they were super excited to see us and get back outside. So this was kind of their like last play session, like opportunity to go to the bathroom. We let them out one more time late at night, like when we go to sleep, but this is their time to do number one and number two and get out most of their energy in the zoomies, me and Matt 
cute little selfie. Look at us. We played with them. We did a really good walk and probably spent around 30 minutes outside just getting their energy out for the evening, letting them use the bathroom, and just truly enjoying our night with our dogs. Like, nothing makes me happier than walking our property with our six dogs and taking in this beautiful view that we have been blessed with. So before winding down for the night, I went ahead and got some editing done. Actually on the video you're watching now, I wanted to get ahead for the next day. And then I headed into the bedroom and after my shower, I wanted to start Bridgerton. You guys, season two of Bridgerton is so good. I didn't think it could like come close to season one, but it did. And then the dogs just laid out in the office right beside our bedroom while I laid in bed and watched the show. So after two episodes of Bridgerton and literally having to force myself to stop, I went ahead and put the dogs up for the night. I didn't show it, but I did end up letting the dogs out one more time to use the bathroom before putting them up to bed for the night. So that was my day as a stay at home dog mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see a little bit of what my life with six dogs looks like. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribe to my channel, it means the world to me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.